Well, now, last week I talked about the California earthquakes that took place. Remember, China Lake, California is supposed to be this underground base where they got this, the military things. The evil cabal is making these chemtrail planes and all that stuff there is taking place. And they're, uh, David Wilcock speculated with his sources, take it for what you will, is that that's the dark cabal's place. But Mike Adams brings up an interesting point with this stuff. California's nuclear power plants built in close proximity to San Andreas Fault. This is very dangerous because when we think about the implications of Fukushima and what happened there, that was just a tsunami coming in, of course, and then shutting everything down. And it's not so bad with Fukushima because all that stuff blew out into the, the Pacific Ocean there. But when, if this happens in the U.S., basically going to cover the whole U.S. Natural news a natural news investigation into the geolocation of nuclear power facilities in California reveals that five nuclear facilities were built in close proximity to the San Andreas fault line, with some constructed right in the middle of earthquake zones that have up to a 50% chance of a severe earthquake every 30 years. The Humboldt Bay nuclear power plant located north of San Francisco was constructed almost exactly on the San Andreas fault line. All those watching, I got a graphic here with the San Andreas fault line running all the way through California. And then there's this Humboldt Bay. I better say this right because a lot of people get PO'd if I don't say, if I say nuclear, but it's nuclear. I don't know why people got to get so upset about the way you pronounce things, but nuclear <laughs> power plants. And this is actually a decommissioned one. So, and obviously those fuel rods keep burning and burning and burning. And uh, even with decommissioned ones, they're going to take forever just to, to cool off and uh, get back to a natural state where they're not going to cause harm. But the fact that these could just go up and all that plume will just cover the entire U.S. Oh, my God, folks. Many of Californians... Non-active nuclear power plants continue to store nuclear fuel under the safe store protocol, which requires nuclear fuel to be stored and kept cool for a duration of many years, after which the fuel is removed in a final decommissioning. As the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant facility was being constructed, the people of Japan were assured the power plant was safe and could never suffer a nuclear meltdown. Uh-huh. Once the tsunami took place, uh, it took out the power plant's batteries and the backup generators. However, the meltdown was only a matter of physics and time. Experts also assured the Californian public that the California's nuclear power facilities would be earthquake proof. They are constructed with reinforced concrete. After all, what could possibly go wrong? Well, we'll see. <laughs> Sure. And they're, they're talking about how, you know, when you talk about magnitudes, they're only on the 7.0, but if you get up to like a 9.0 earthquake, which the San Andreas fault line is slated to be a big, big one, not going to be able to withstand that. The cesium-137 of the radioisotopes released in this type of accidents has roughly... 30-year half-life, meaning much of Southern California would be non uninhabitable for 300 years. It requires 10 half-lives to be considered gone. Imagine the logistics of attempting to evacuate Los Angeles, San Diego, and San Francisco. That would be a mess, a complete and utter total mess. Oh. Even nuclear fuel rods currently kept in cold storage are not entirely safe from powerful earthquakes. So now, I, I didn't know entirely much about exactly what the San Andreas um, fault line was and all that, but they broke it down really good here. Nice and simple, folks. The entire landmass located west of the line is slowly moving uh, northwest, but everything else east isn't moving, but he says technically it's moving at a much slower rate in a different direction, so it's just going to... 
chunk off there, if you will, and uh, break off as the graphic shows. So again, I did show the uh, the clip from what was his name, the guy that ate the uranium. Uh, oh, it slips my mind right now. Galen Windsor. So is it just a scare? I don't know. Um, you know, you got Chernobyl or life's thriving there, but they're saying maybe it's just the initial fallout that's bad. There's so much to this, but the fact is it can be scary stuff. You know, whatever the right thing is, it's just, it's good to be informed over which way it goes. And then that also got into the whole battle of uh, them talking about the floods in D.C., where this, they were saying the cabal was striking back and then flooding D.C. That was strange weather in D.C., folks. Um, attacking the White House, the basement uh, got wet a little bit. I don't want to say it flooded because it just came in there a little bit. And they had, of course, the, the stuff to take care of that. <laughs> Marco Ruscio in the chat says, uh, but Southern California hasn't been habitable for over 300 years. So there's no difference. <laughs> Yeah, the way uh, San Francisco, uh, yeah, well, San Francisco is up north, but uh, it's still on the other side of that fault line with all the crazy policies going on and the drugs and the crime. And, but that's all liberal, folks. But anyway, tying all that together, that's why we got to get to the free energy systems. We have it available. Let's not sit here and beat around the bush. And I think we're going to start getting to that hopefully soon. I mean, I, w I wanted it sooner than later, but things are just at this slow pace, it seems like. And Definitely. Time to step up. Okay, let's go ahead and transition. I want to talk about some of the ice raids here. You're not a nice person. Okay, so I want to talk about the emotional fear that the media puts these people in. This news clip captures it very well. Basically, they flip it around, saying that we're racist for wanting people to be here legally, and it doesn't make any sense, but that's their logic, of course. So this was uh, last week before uh, initially the raids took place on Sunday, but this was before that. So let's go ahead and listen into this clip. An angry protests were held across the country today over President Trump's decision to start immigration raids tomorrow. The sweeps are expected to target about 2,000 people who a judge has already ordered to be deported. Carter Evans is in Los Angeles. I'm here because President Trump has said ICE will attack thousands of families separating children from parents. Passionate protesters today in Chicago joined those in cities around the nation. ICE has got to go! Fighting back against planned deportation raids set to begin Sunday. In Oakland, California, Naomi Islas is worried her family could be targeted. Maybe some, one day I'll go home and my parents aren't going to be there. Throughout the country, undocumented immigrants like Harrison Quinteros are on edge. I feel like scared every day. I don't know what to do, but I know that with my community, I'm in strength. They came in illegally. They have to go out. The president confirmed Friday ICE agents will be focusing on immigrants with removal orders in at least 10 cities. They're going to take people out and they're going to bring them back to their countries or they're going to take criminals out, put them in prison or put them in prison in the countries they came from. While large-scale deportation actions are not uncommon, most don't receive this kind of publicity. And this one is getting pushback from cities with large immigration populations like San Francisco. Everyone uh -huh. is guaranteed certain rights under the Constitution, Everyone? whether they are in this country illegally or not. Uh, in American Los citizens. Angeles, Sheriff Alex Villanueva has advice for immigrant families. Keep your doors shut and uh, ask for a search warrant. And if they don't have it, well, then don't open the door. Officials in Los Angeles estimate there could be up to a million undocumented immigrants in this county alone. And authorities here have refused to help federal agents with any immigration arrests. Jim? Carter, thank you very much. 
So, where was the outcry when Obama was doing all this? Oh, that's right, the media didn't hype it up like they do nowadays. Again, to get the people for a distraction and flip-flop it. It's just ridiculous. Uh, I was looking at the chat during it. Unemployed Mario says, This took place in my city and I had no freaking clue. It must not have been too disruptive then. Again, these rights are for American citizens. Come here legally, do everything you need to do, get in the system, and then you can have those rights. They want to sit here because the Democrats get these votes. That's why they keep pushing this stuff. And again, they're saying they don't want to be this racist thing, but they're actually pushing this racist thing. Q did a drop today about that, how they just they push it. They act like they're the ones that are innocent. They're the victims. Uh, Trump's this big racist that the thing he tweeted out where they should go back where they came from. It's a good point. If you don't like it here, just go back where you came from. This is America. Why do you think people keep coming here? Uh, if, if Mexico is so great, go down there. Uh, there was the, I think it was last week, whatever, the Antifa at the Colorado ice place. They put up a Mexican flag there. Mexico is so great, go down there. It's like, why do you think they're coming here? They're coming here because of our capitalism that made this country great. People don't get that. They want socialism. Because they think everything should be given to them. And if we get to the free energy stuff, we can have that because money won't be needed at that point. But until we get there, we got to take one step at a time here, folks, and stick with the capitalism. Because obviously, it's the best system if everybody wants to come here. Now, AOC, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, I wonder if she is actually stupid or if she's just playing stupid because she brings up the, the, the immigrants were drinking out of the toilet. Now, this is what she's seen in the ice facility. So you got this stainless, for those listening, you got this like stainless toilet and then all, and connected to it is a sink. So if the illegal alien goes over there and fills up his glass, I guess technically you could say he's drinking out of the toilet because it's connected as one unit there. But for her to be so, if she... Th is that dumb or she thinks her supporters are that dumb? All you got to do is go look it up. And when I seen that, I was like, well, yeah, I guess technically she's right, but it's just stupid the way they push things. All this unnecessary BS. But we can get upset about the politics all day. I don't like to make this too much into a, a politic channel. Uh-huh. But uh, it has to be done. We got to get separate... Fact from fiction here and get ourselves on the right track. So I'm going to go out to a commercial break, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, when we come back, I want to talk about the Facebook raid on Area 51 that's going to take place and much, much more. Stay with us, ladies and gentlemen. Talk is cheap. Yes, yes, yes. Have your voice heard today. Call into the show at 1-605-562-0444. Show ID 146509. Please hang up and try again. Hey, Dan Olfeld here. I'm here with Pete. Pete, we got a trip planned. Where are we going? Hey, Dan, we do. We have an exciting trip planned to the East City Ranch out in the state of Washington. We're heading out there August 8th through the 11th. If any of our uh, fans and watchers want to come join us, get on eSETI.org and book your time now, man. It's going to be a great time. We're going to see some cool stuff and have some fun. Sounds great. I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to seeing a UFO. Big tech giants are censoring people's voices. Subscribe to our backup channels on BitChute and DTube. Go to k2d4network.com for all the links.